it actually is working. Splashing all the soap around. I know I shouldn't be this excited for a dishwasher, but anything that's gonna save you time is a-okay in my book. What's up everybody? It's your boy DOTG, and today we have the Nanova D1 portable counter dishwasher. Just to give you an idea of how much you could actually fit in here, here we go. You could actually fit more in here if you like. Really awesome because it has seven presets. Self-cleaning mode, you have the quick mode, fruit, glass, eco, normal, and strong. There's a few different ways to supply water to the D1, which is nice. So if there is a reservoir in here, you could pour 1.3 gallons of water in here. Okay, so let's take a look at all the contents that come with the portable dishwasher. You got your pitcher, this takes three pitcherfuls of water equaling 1.3 gallons to run this. You can either just pour it from the top here or connect it directly into your water line. So there's two here. One is gonna be a water inlet and the other one is gonna be a water outlet to drain the dishwasher. And you can connect these into your system if you want or just put it in the sink, however uh, is best for your setup. You also got the fruit basket so you can put all your fruits in here throw it in here do a little quick rinse if you know you just don't want to do it yourself pop it in here hit a button boom you're set do something different we also got the uh, utensil basket here the cutlery right so for me and most asians we never use the dishwasher at home traditionally we use it just for storage but i'm pretty lazy so i was very interested in these countertop units to test them out in the truck and see how well they do I'd much rather throw it in here, uh, let it do its thing, and I get to go play on my e-bike or do something different. So you could either run it as a countertop joint, just like I'm doing here, or plumb it right into your system and build it into a cabinet. Okay, so this portable dishwasher, who is it for? Who is the consumer? So my thoughts are... it. This could be for the apartment dweller who has a small unit but doesn't have a dishwasher included and would like to save some time. This is great, you could plumb it right in or just drop it on the countertop, it's portable, let it drain into the sink. Or that person who's doing that RV life, they can build this right into their system or van lifer. I should also mention the build quality. And this is an easy test, the door. Closes very satisfying to make a waterproof seal. There's almost like a magnet that sucks it in. Yeah, fit and finish is A1. Dishwasher is nothing new, but the countertop version just opens up the convenience factor for RV lifers, van lifers, and apartment dwellers alike. Okay, perfect case use scenario. I have breakfast items in here, four, I have three plates, a cutting board, three cups, a bunch of cutlery. This time I used quick and it's only gonna be, I think it said 29 minutes. And in case you're wondering, we're using about 750 watts. But this is a perfect case use scenario. Throw in the dishes, free up my time. Now I'm gonna go work on something else. The convenience factor off the charts. Thank you, robot. Okay, real quick. Now it's in the second rinse mode and it's only using 37 watts and that is because the second rinse mode is with cold water now when it goes through a hot water cycle it's gonna take a little more wattage to heat up that water that's why you guys were seeing earlier 750 watts but when it's just the mechanical jet sprays with regular cold water it only uses about 35 watts so the different phases accounts for the different amount of usage for power right now it's only 37 watts which is not a lot. It's like uh, charging up an iPad or something. In case you were curious, now we're in the drying phase. It's blowing air in here. And we're using 71 watts. So in total, uh, I would say about a fourth of the time is 750 watts. And then another... Another fourth of the time is 35. And then at the very end for drying, it looks like it's 71 watts. Not bad for the convenience factor. Again, you're probably gonna be saving about an hour of washing all your dishes, drying all your dishes per day. Seven hours a week, 28 hours a month. How much is that worth to you? Sound test number two. This is the drying section. Do 
Do you hear that? Not really. Very quiet as well in the drying cycle. Yeah, I'm impressed. This is nice. Look at that spotless. And it's dry. You don't have to, you know, you can just straight put it back in the drawer. Very convenient. Yeah, bone dry. Ready to go back in the cupboard. This is convenient AF. Okay, so here we go. We have the Nanova D1 Compact Countertop Dishwasher. It's currently running through its dry cycle now. So if you happen to hear a whoosh, that's what the sound is. In terms of dimensions, it's going to be 16.8 by 16.7 by 18.0. Small size for families of 2 to 4. 7 wash cycles, 360 dual spraying arms and drying. There's also a delay start and child lock. No insulation needed. You just put it on the countertop and plug it in. It has a built-in water tank as well if you want to do it that way. Or as you see in the picture over here, you can plug it right into your faucet. Screw it right into your faucet. Currently, there is a $150 off spring deal. And that's the current price here. Let's see if we can get to some of these pictures. Here we go. Oh, look. So seven sets of cutlery. Four plates, four smaller plates, four cups, four wine glasses, and four bowls can all fit in here. Holy smokes. Okay. Here's the dimensions. If you guys want to pause this, you can. Okay, next one. Yeah, I see what I was showing you guys. Here's all the, the display. 360 wash, top and bottom. And you got the drying feature. We got the wheels. Here's all the accessories that come with it. The water inlet and outlet. The cutlery basket. The actual rack. Fruit basket. And a pitcher. Okay. What else we got here? Yep. So that's all the pictures. Okay. Here comes the specs. It does say 950 watts of its power usage. But I didn't see that much power usage. Even when it's heating up the water. I only saw 700 watts. So I'm not sure why they say 950. But... That's good that it's less than what it's stated uh, according to my test. Okay, so here's all the wash cycles. That's cool. Packaging, here's what all the stuff you get. Owner's manual, Q&A. Okay, and lastly, the reviews. So I'll drop a link here if you guys are interested. Nanova D1 Compact Countertop Dishwasher. And I'm trying not to sound salesy, but for this price, you use it 10 times, saving you 10 hours. How much is your time worth it for you? I think it's worth it if you have a small apartment or a larger RV. It's a little bit big to fit in my box truck. I could make it happen. I'm actually thinking about maybe taking out some of my drawers and letting the Nanova D1 compact dishwasher live into my cabinet so my life could be a little bit easier from tedious tasks. I'm not sure yet, but um, maybe I'll have it live in here. Otherwise, van lifers, RV lifers, and apartment dwellers, I think this is great for you guys. It's very convenient. No insulation required. Just plop it on the countertop, plug in the water, have the drain go into your sink, and that's that. All right, let's get back to the review. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Take it easy. Thanks for watching. Would you use something like this in your RV or your small apartment? I think this is a no-brainer if you had the space for it. Somewhere up on the counter, like you got an apartment, one bedroom, or a studio. Heck yes, I would use this 10 out of 10 times. Or you got the RV life, or for my 10-foot box truck, it's a little large. But if you plan for it, you could definitely plumb this into your system and have a little cabinet for it or have it sit up on top of the, uh, the counter if you wish. Yeah, I think this is a go. This is a major, major, major go. That's a triple major go. That's the highest go on my channel. Shout out to my boy Floss. If you know, you know. There it is. The Nanova D1. Color me impressed.